Hello, hello. Hello, students. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you? Good. Doing good. I am very happy to see you again in another opportunity to learn, to continue working another class. Right. I am very happy to have the chance to be here with you. Well, today is Thursday or class number 12, right? Imagine, my God, we have three weeks together. It has been a long, long time. Tenemos tres semanas ya juntos. Imagínense, ni las hemos sentido. Well, welcome Rosario, welcome Elizabeth, Mr. Maximo, Maritza, and Iris. Welcome to my very, very punctual students. Okay, yesterday we were talking about what? A ver, ¿quién se acuerda? ¿De qué estuvimos hablando ayer? Who remembers? De la... Ay, yo digo, yo lo llamo la secuencia del tiempo, pero era otro nombre que le dio usted. <laughs> adverbs of frequency, right? We were talking about adverbs of frequency. Okay, good. Do you remember what are some of the adverbs of frequency? What are some examples of adverbs of frequency? Yo me acuerdo de las palabras, pero no puedo poner los ejemplos. No, I mean, remember, ah, give, me, give me some examples. Es, es something, sometime, sometimes, sometimes, eh, always, always, good, never, very good. Este, la otra era um, usually, usually, very good, ajá. Uh -huh. Me faltan esa ever. La uh -huh. otra que lleva ever al principio se me ha olvidado. <laughs> hardly, hardly ever, right? Hardly, hardly ever. ever. Es que no tengo mi, mi notebook a la mano. <laughs> It's okay. Hardly ever, right? Hardly ever was one of the examples. Now, uh, what is the one that represents 100% of everything? What is the one that represents 100%? What is the one that represents 100? Do you remember? Always. Always. Good. Very good. What is the one that represents 0%? 0%. What is the one that represents 0? Never. 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 Right? What is the one that represents 50%? Do you remember? What is the one that represents 50%? Often? Mm, no, that is sometimes. one. Sometimes. Sometimes, good. And what is another characteristic of sometimes? What is another characteristic of the word sometimes? We put at start uh -huh. or, or follow the subject. Okay, so I am going to give you some examples here. I am going to go here with uh, sometimes. Let's see. Rosario, give me one example from you using sometimes. One example. Okay. Uh -huh. No, teacher. Okay, I am going to give you here. I am going to I am going to show you something here. Okay, si no vamos a hacerlo entre todos. Aquí no nos preocupemos. Here we are going to put the subject, right? We are going to put the subject here. Here we are going to put the adverb of frequency, right? Here we are going to put the verb, and here we are going to put the complement. Okay, so if we are going to make one sentence with sometimes, I will say, I sometimes, I sometimes 
uh, eat fish, right? And I have a sentence, right? And I have a sentence. Now, create one. Ahí tiene el ejemplo, Rosario. Haga una propia. Invénteme otra. Ay. Ay, son tan. Se puede usar has o have. Have. Porque está hablando de usted. I sometimes have. Eh. Empecemos con las más fáciles. Ahorita, para hacer otra oración, una oración nueva, también vuelve el complemento. En Big Banana, por ejemplo. Bueno, I sometimes have. Eh, up. Okay. Here we can have another sentence. I sometimes have, have, and in this case we can say, ese tiene que ser un complemento más, más difícil o más diferente. I sometimes have apples for breakfast. Sí. En este caso, si decimos, I sometimes have apples for breakfast is Yo a veces como manzanas de desayuno, right? That's one example, but good. Ahora hágame otro ahí, escríbeme en el cuaderno. Ya vuelvo con usted. It is, give me one example. With never. I never eat potatoes. I never eat potatoes, very good. I never eat potatoes. Excellent example. Very good job. Elizabeth, welcome. Give me one example with uh, usually. Give me one example with usually. Uh, I usually, um, I usually drink I usually drink uh, tea. I usually drink tea. Fantastic example. Very good job, the one that you did with that sentence. Maximo, give me one example with hardly ever. I hardly, uh, hardly ever uh -huh. take a... Uh, Nap. I hardly ever take a nap. Exactly what I wanted to do. Okay, because the adverbs of frequency, you cannot only use them with food. You can use the adverbs of frequency with different activities that are going to represent the different things that you do every day. For example, you can say, I, I, and this is one of my examples because it's a real life thing. I, Almost never, I almost never go to the mountains, right? And this is an activity, right? And you can use the adverbs of frequency to explain about different activities as well. Los adverbios de frecuencia no solo los vamos a ocupar para nuestras rutinas de comida. Lo podemos utilizar para cosas que hacemos normalmente. Si queremos decir, por ejemplo, eh, I never... I never uh, drive a car. I never drive a car. Y vamos a seguir el mismo patrón. Okay? So, in this case, you see that you have the adverbs of frequency for the different activities. And the focus of the topic was the food, right? To talk about the different types of food, the different things that we eat, that we love to eat, that we don't like to eat. But we can also use the adverbs of frequency for different situations. Mr. Omar, give me one sentence using the adverb of frequency uh, often. Often. Uh, 
I don't know. Uh, I don't know, teacher. Ok, follow the pattern. Sigue el ejemplo. Siga los ejemplos que tenemos hasta el momento. Solo que en este, el adverbio de frecuencia que va a utilizar es often. Aquí lo tenemos. Y me puede decir acerca de alguna actividad que realice. Often. Where, where is often? Eh, seguido. Seguido, digamos, los lunes, los miércoles, los viernes, los domingos. Con una frecuencia regular, con una frecuencia seguida. Un 70% de las veces. I often take a shower. I often take a shower, right? <laughs> Quiere decir que algunos días no. I often eat fish. I often? I often eat fish. I often eat fish. Very good. When you say I often take a shower, es que la, a veces hasta tres veces al día, right? I often take a shower, right? Very good job, Omar, very good. Let's see, let's go with eh, Maritza. Maritza, give me one sentence with sometimes. Give me one sentence with sometimes. Uh -huh. Maritza. And Arvin is going to give me one sentence with usually. I usually sing in the bathroom. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Culpables. I usually sing in the bathroom. But in this case, in the shower, right? Because in the bathroom, <laughs> all depends, right? A quien le gusta cantar donde sea. Because if you say, I usually sing in the bathroom when you are sitting, right? Waiting. <laughs> you oh, are sitting okay. In the shower, right? I usually sing in the shower. Me too, right? Vecinos, perdone. Anyway, but I like to sing. Okay, Maritza, are you back? Yes, no? If not, I am going to have Cynthia. Can you help me with one sentence with almost never? Eh, almost never. Mm, I almost never. Mm. I almost never, uh huh? And you use the compliment. What is something that you almost never do? Casi nunca. Go to. Um, I almost never. Can I invent? Yeah, you can invent <laughs> for sure. Okay. I almost never go to to the cinema. I almost never go to the cinema. That's good. And it's true because of COVID, right? We don't go to the cinema yes. anymore. Right. I almost never go to the cinema. Good. That's it, it was like kind of invented reality, right? Okay. So, <laughs> so in this case, we need to remember the order of the adverse of frequency, right? Once that you organize your mind with the different sentences, it is easier for you to remember uh, how to place them and how to organize them. Okay. Let's go back with Rosario. Rosario, can you give me one sentence with an adverse of frequency? I never bike. I never bike. I never bike. bike. Yeah, sí. I never bike or I never ride a bike. I never. Sí. No faltaba el verbo. Eh? I never sí. right. ride. Right. I never ride a bike. Right. Bike. Excellent. I never ride bike. Me too, because I don't know how to do it. Right. Yo no puedo andar en bici. I never ride a bike. That's why. Who else doesn't know? Hay alguien más aquí que no sepa andar en bici así no me siento tan sola. No, yo no puedo. Yo no puedo. Yay! 
So there are there are two of us that we cannot do. Right. Me too. I can't. Can. You can't. I can. Three, three of us. <laughs> it's so sad. <laughs> yeah, me too. Imagine if we have to escape and it's only no. one bike. Bye bye. We die there. <laughs> <laughs> Good, Elizabeth. Can you ride a bike? Ellie, can you ride a bike? No, no, miss. Ah, so that makes four of us. Las cuatro. No, no miss. <laughs> eh, lo intenté. Este, mi hermano es altísimo, entonces la 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 bike de él era grande. Ah. Cuando estaba más pequeña, la ponía a la par de de la mesa del comedor. Intentaba subirme, pero ni eso. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that makes four of us that we cannot ride bikes. No, no. Yeah, that's lo, very sad. Yo lo, yo lo intenté, <laughs> pero me caí de la bicicleta. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I remember. I remember that. I remember that. I, I tried. Por eso también no lo intento ya. <laughs> yeah, so that's like kind of bad. Arabin, can you ride a bike? Yes. Ah, that's good. Mr. Omar, can you ride a bike? No. Mr. Maximo, can you ride a bike? Yes. Hey, that's good. Ms. Esmeralda, can you ride a bike? No. <laughs> that, makes, that makes five of us. <laughs> we cannot do it. It is. Can you ride a bike? Oh my God. So, is, so, teacher. so, so, well, Iris is going to save us because we are going to be there in a in a zombie attack, if we have to escape by bike, bye bye for us because we cannot do it. <laughs> okay, that's very good. So are you good in any other sport that you say like, hey, I am very good at, I don't know, soccer, basketball, yes, baseball, teacher, basketball. basketball. I am good at basketball too, yes. Any other one, any other sport that you consider that you are good Soccer. Uh -huh. Soccer. Hey, that's fantastic. Soccer. You want basketball. Basketball. Hey, that's pretty cool. Who is who is good at baseball? <clears throat> who is good at baseball? No one? So I am I am kind of good at basketball only. And I like the I like soccer a little bit, but it's not my favorite thing. But I, I, I like it. I mean, I am kind of good on that. Well, so we are going to work a little bit today on exactly that. We are going to work on, uh, we are going to work on sports, right? We're going to talk about sports and different abilities. But before that, we are going to finish the topic of the food, okay? Vamos a terminar primero el tema de la comida para poder pasar a nuestro siguiente tema. And for this one, what we are going to do is the following. Let me see. Let me just share my screen again for everybody. Okay. Let's see. And here I go. I am going to share my screen with you. Okay, can you see the presentation? Yes. We are going to talk mm -hmm. about we are going to talk about sports and abilities, right? When we talk about sports and abilities, we are going to be discussing different activities that we are good at and that we realize and that we do every day. So remember our agreements, practice your English, ask for help if you need, keep your cameras on all the time, attend all your sessions on time, participate as much as possible, keep a cooperative attitude during class and collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group. So it is very important that all of you attend the different sessions. I am going to send a reminder to your friends because we are waiting for you in the class. Okay. What are we going to do right now? I am going to present 
some questions, right? And we are going to use these questions for us to interact. I need you please to check on the questions. I need you to write them on your notebook because you are going to use them. Or if not, you can take a screenshot of the presentation. Le pueden sacar un screen. Lo pueden escribir o ahorita se los voy a enviar igual al grupo de WhatsApp. Okay. Okay. Because you are going to use these questions for you to interact with your classmates in the groups. We are going to have a small groups of conversation and you are going to answer these questions. It says, what's your favorite kind of food? Eh, Mexican food, Italian food, any type of food, Salvadorian food. What is your favorite restaurant? What do you usually have at your favorite restaurant? ¿Qué es lo que normalmente comen? Do you ever make dinner for your family? And what is your favorite snack? Okay, what is your favorite snack? That's, uh, well, those are the questions that we're going to be using. I already sent the picture on the group for you to have it. And uh, we're going to go to work in groups for only five minutes. But in these five minutes, I need you please to interact in English. I don't want you to be practicing Spanish. So you are going to be asking the questions and answering, okay? Try to answer in a complete way. Not like, what's your favorite kind of food? Salvadorian. I like Salvadorian food, right? Complete answers. What is your favorite restaurant? Say, uh, uh, pizza boom, you say. My favorite restaurant is this and this. What do you usually have at your favorite restaurant? You have to give a detailed description, right? Of the things that you eat. Do you ever make dinner for your family? Yes or no? And what do you cook? What is your favorite snack? And you describe the snack and you tell the group, when do you eat it, okay? In the morning, in the afternoon, at night, in the middle of the night. I don't know, there are some people who eat at midnight, <laughs> so yeah, you can do it. I remember in the pandemic, my husband and I used to watch series in Netflix and around one in the morning, we were like, are you hungry? Yeah, me too. And we were there sneaking for food at one in the morning. So, but it was like in the pandemic, in the quarantine. Now we sleep because we need to work in the next day. So we are going to answer these questions in the group. We are going to go to the groups right now and it's going to be only five minutes of interaction. So you have to be very detailed about what you are going to share. You're going to receive the invitation right now. Let's go to the groups. There you go. You are going to receive the invitation right now. Very good, very good, very good. Please, do you send it to the, to the WhatsApp group? Yes. Okay. Yes, it's there. Go ahead, accept the invitation. Okay. We are going to give a couple of seconds for the groups to set up and for sure for them to start working. I am going to go and stop by each of the groups. You are going to have the opportunity to listen to them interacting with the questions presented, okay? So let's go to visit the different groups. Sure. What your favorite snack? My favorite snack. My favorite snack is. I see you. What is your favorite snack, Esmeralda? No, go ahead. Go ahead. Esmeralda, what is your favorite snack? My favorite snack is. Que no sé cuál, los bocadillos son los snacks, ¿verdad? Yes. 
Los entremeses, los entrecomidas. No son las, las boquitas. Eh, Ajá, snack, no. is, snack is in general all the food that you eat between the food. For example, in uh -huh. the morning, in the middle of the morning, when you eat something, that's a snack. Es un refrigerio, un bocadillo. Mm. Y es, snacks también son los, los churritos, right? Okay. Pero ese es más común que digamos okay. chips. Churritos. Mm. Chips. Ah, entonces sería como una galleta. Yeah. A cookie, yes. My favorite, my favorite snack is a cookie. My cookie? favorite snack? Are my um, my favorite snack are cooking. Very good job, excellent. That's the answer. Continue, continue. <coughs> Elizabeth. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. What What do you usually have at your favorite restaurant? Oh, no voy a ninguno. <laughs> es la tercera, ¿verdad? Yes. My house. <laughs> eh, no, no salimos generalmente así que comemos en casa. Bueno, podría ah. decir la pupusería de la esquina, ¿verdad? Okay. Como un ejemplo. Uh, my... my... My my favorite restaurant is uh, the the pupuseria. No sé cómo se dice de la esquina. <laughs> the pupuseria of the corner. Yeah, of the corner, or you can say a pupuseria near my house. Mm -hmm. eh, Perdón. A pupuseria near my house. Mm -hmm. Near. Cerca near. De mi casa. Ah, okay. Yes. Entonces, my restaurant, no, my five, favorite restaurant is the pupusería near my house. Very good job. Excellent. Okay. I am going to see the other group. What are they doing? Máximo. Ajá. My, my favorite the snacks are um, lice. Lice, the, the, lace. the, the papitas. Lace potatoes. <laughs> lace they, potatoes. They are very good. Or Doritos. Or I have forgotten the name of my, of my favorite. My really favorite. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I, I really taqueritos, like taqueritos. Taqueritos. <laughs> the spicy ones. Yes, I love them. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good. Yes. Fantastic. Okay, let me see the other ones. Do you ever make dinner for your family? And the question is for? For... Uh, for Omar, for Cynthia, for Iris, for me. For you. <laughs> I every day make dinner for my family, <laughs> right? Uh, in some cases, in some cases, my husband says like, no, I am going to cook. And he brings pupusas, right? <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I make dinner for my family. The same every day, but I do it. Beans, eggs, and coffee. Or if not, coffee, beans, typical, and eggs. Typical yeah. dinner. Typical dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I try to vary. Sometimes okay. bread, sometimes tortilla, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> good, very good. Let me see. Yes? Pan, pan francés, ¿cómo se diría? Ah, that's French bread or only bread? Bread. bread. The, mm. the only one that changes a little bit is the integral one. You say integral bread. But that's the only thing that changes. But for the rest, it's bread. And if you want to be a specific, French bread. <laughs> but if you buy it here in El Salvador, si lo compramos aquí, es Salvadorian bread. Así que dejémoslo en bread. Only bread. Okay, yes. So, Omar, what is your favorite snack?
Mr. Omar? My favorite snack. Uh -huh. mm, is yuca frita. Fried yuca, right? Hey, that's very good. In, in, in Salvadorian, is yuca frita. Yuca, <laughs> yuca frita, right? Fried yuca. It's good. <laughs> I, I am, well, I am from Chalchuapa, right? So it's the city of the yuca. So I, I love it. It's very delicious. Well, my dear students, we're going to go back to the main session. Let's go back. Okay, okay, we are back. We are back, right? We were talking about the different things, the different likes, dislikes, and things that we have about food. Let me see. I am going to ask one question to each of you. I am going to go one by one and I'm going to ask one question. Cynthia, what is your favorite kind of food? My favorite kind of food is Chinese. I have, I have some, for example, Chinese, Mexican food, or the, or, or the different kind of soups. Hey, that's good, right? I love them. You love <laughs> soups, right? You have a variety of yes. kinds of food. Excellent. Thank you very much. Iris, what is your favorite restaurant? Well, my favorite restaurant is Chicken Compero. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. Let's see. Let's go with Rosario. What is your favorite restaurant? La Cubuceria. Yay. <laughs> good job. Very good. Let's see. What? Uh, let's go with the next one. We're going to go with Elizabeth. What? Do you usually eat in your favorite restaurant? What do you usually eat in your favorite restaurant? Uh -huh. Hey, the microphone, sweetie. Nos está dando el secreto de la vida y no lo oigo. <laughs> I, I usually... Uh -huh. I usually a uh, restaurant uh, in the in the pupuseria near my house. Okay, you usually okay. In this case, cuando decimos, what do you usually have? ¿Qué es lo que usualmente come en su restaurante favorito? So, what is the answer on that one? Okay, entonces sería I usually have I usually have uh, pupusas. I usually have pupusas. Very good. Yes, in this case, you say, you can specify. You can specify and tell me, my favorite restaurant is a pupuseria near my house. And I usually have pupusas. Right? That's ah, a okay. very complete sentence. Very good job. Let's see. Let's continue here with Mr. Maximo. What is your favorite snack? My favorite snack are sauce, sauces. So, sauce. Which one is that one? Sauces. Sauces. Salchichas. Sí. Uh, chorizos. Ah, good. Sausages. Sausages. Okay. Sausages. Good. Very good. Salvadorian sausages. Or American. Yes. Salvadorian. Very good job. Mr. Omar. What is your favorite restaurant? Um, I don't have favorite restaurant. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Your house. <laughs> your house is your favorite restaurant. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Arbing, what is your favorite kind of food? My favorite kind of food it's uh mexican food mexican food very good and esmeralda what is your favorite restaurant my favorite restaurant is burger king the bird very good i love the potatoes from burger king. 
They are very good. <laughs> they are my favorite. Excellent. So we are going to go a little bit just to finish with this section and check a little bit of the platform, right? We're going to check a little bit of the platform for this section. So we are sure that everything is complete, right? On the platform, we have different evaluations with some and any. In this exercise specifically, we did it yesterday. It was the conversation that we did yesterday. Ayer hicimos esta conversación. And we were using some and any. Veamos si todavía se acuerdan de lo que hicimos ayer. Well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make, what was it? Some or any? Some. Some, right? Okay, do we have any or some? Some. 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 Do we have? For any. The, any. For the questions we use, any. Any, uh, right? For the questions and the negatives, any. For the affirmatives, some. Some. No, we need to buy? Some. Some, in this case, right? Remember, because it was affirmative. We need onions too. Some. some. We need some onions too. Oh, I don't want? Any. 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 I oh. don't want any onions. I hate onions. Then let's get? Some. some some celery no i don't want any any, any. celery in my potato salad but let's put some. some some apples in it apples in potato salad that sounds awful they say good so the other evaluation that you had in the uh, platform was the sentences that we did okay esas le tomaron un poquito de tiempo ayer pero vamos a ver cómo las ordenamos. Ahora que ya vimos el orden, ya vimos cómo las ubicamos, ya se nos hace más fácil hacer las oraciones. So it says, work, I, snacks, eat, at, hardly ever. I hardly ever. I hardly ever. I hardly ever eat. Snack, at, work. Very good job. The next one, eat for pasta, dinner, sometimes I. Sometimes I, I, I sometimes, sometimes. I sometimes eat eat pasta for dinner. dinner. For dinner, very good. And the next one, have my I dinner with often family. I often have. I often have what? Have dinner. Dinner with family. With, no, with, my, with family. my family. Very good job. With my family. With my family. <laughs> Excellent. And the last exercise that we had for this one, it was a multiple choice, right? A multiple choice on which we have different readings, right? And in this one, we're going to practice a little bit of reading today, right? We are going to go over a little bit of reading and some customs that people have about food, right? In this one, the first one, I am going to ask Esmeralda, can you read the first reading? Aunque eh, si nos trabamos en alguna palabra, no hay problema. Este, ¿Dónde están tres mandarinas? Ex, this one, yes. Right. Some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are brown brown foods foods and and be him again like yours okay very good job Un aplauso para mí. So she did an excellent job very good it says some chinese chinese people chinese. eat tangerines 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 are round Round uh, foods, right? Comida redonda. Round foods end and begin again, like the begin years. Again. End and begin again, like the years. Begin. At least end and begin again. Okay, terminan e inician de nuevo como los años, right? The round food. The next one, Elizabeth, can you help me with the next one? It, it is... Uh... Jewish uh -huh. custom. 
to eat apples. Apples. Apples, good. With honey, with honey for a sweet New Year. Very good. It is a Jewish, Jewish custom. Jewish. Jewish. It is a Jewish custom to eat apples with honey for a sweet New Year. Very good. The next one. Let's go with Mr. Maximo. Basilopita. Go ahead. Greeks eat basilopita bread yes. with a coin inside. Everyone tries to find a coin for luck and money in the new year. Okay, for luck. Good luck, you say. Luck. Greeks eat basilopita bread with a coin inside. A coin is una moneda, right? Everyone tries to find a coin for luck and money in the new year. You have to be very careful not to eat the coin <laughs> because if not, no one is going to find it. The next one, it's going to be for Iris. Iris is going to help me with the next one. It's going to be, let me just go down. Let me just move it here. I am going to leave it here. And I am going to erase everything. The first one, in Spain. Go ahead. In Spain and some Latin American country, people eat 12? 12? 12 great at minutes of New Year. Even one great for good loot in each. Each. Month? Month of the New Year. Very good job. In Spain and some Latin American countries, in El Salvador, many people do this. Some people eat 12 grapes at midnight. Midnight is the middle of the night on New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve is Víspera de Año Nuevo. Eve significa víspera. New Year's Eve. One grape for good luck in each month of the New Year. Very good. Here in El Salvador, it's like, la doce. And then you're eating all the grapes at the same time. Let's see. The next one is going to be for uh, Mr. Omar. Read the next one. Um, on New Year in the Japan, people eat much fried cakes for the strength in the never just in the new year right in the new year on new year's day in japan people eat mochi rice cakes for strength in the new year fantastic very good job mr omar and we are going to finish with uh, let me see we are going to finish with arvin help me with the last one some Americans from so southern states eat black eyed peas and race with co co color. Colored, color greens. The black eyed peas are like coins and the greens are like dollars. Excellent, fantastic way of reading. I didn't catch any, any mistake. Some Americans from southern states eat black eyed peas. Black eyed peas are a type of frijoles, right? And rice with colored greens, right? The black eyed peas are like points and the greens are like dollars. The greens are like the hotes, right? Or in this case, son como los perejil o, o cilantro. I don't really know what is it. But they use the color green in the full to represent the different dollars. Good. So now that we read the exercise, we can go over the answers. Some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are what? Round. Round, right? They are round like ears. Some Jewish people eat apples with? Honey. 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 Greeks eat basilopita, that it's bread with? A coin. A coin inside. In people eat 12 grapes for good luck. Spain. 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 Good. Japanese eat 
rice cake. Rice cakes. Very good. Some Americans eat black eyed peas. Black eyed peas are like coins. Coins. Dollars. Coins. They are like coins. They are like coins. So that's good. Every time that you have a reading, remember that you analyze it and everything, and then you go to the questions. Un tip que les puedo dar cuando tengan un ejercicio de lectura, lean las preguntas primero y de ahí váyanse al ejercicio. Y ahí van a saber qué andan buscando, porque si no, leen todo y cuando lleguen al ejercicio, ay, no me acuerdo, y vamos de regreso otra vez a la lectura. No, leamos las preguntas, los ejercicios y todo, y de ahí vamos a leer, a buscar las respuestas. So that was excellent. So that was our section number four. I hope everybody has finished with this. And we are going to move into section number five. Yo sé que hace como 12 días ustedes decían, hey, no, hombre, de aquí que llegue a la sección cinco. Oh my God. And now we are there. And we are about to finish in four days. Oh no. It's like, no, I, I, my God, no me los quiten. Yo los quiero. <laughs> And in this one, we are going to talk about sports, right? In this section, we are going to talk about sports. And I have it here in my PowerPoint. Let's go back here. Excellent. I have one question for everybody. Do you like sports? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Yes, yes. The boys are the first ones yeah. to answer. <laughs> Do you like sports? Ladies, yes, okay. yes it is like sports. Rosario, do you like sports? ¿Te gustan los deportes? Yes. Yes. Pero basketball. Ah, okay, only basketball. The other one? Eh, no. <laughs> okay. What is your favorite sport? Rosario says basketball. It is told me. Um, basketball. Basketball. Elizabeth. Jugarlo, basketball, pero me gusta ver también el fútbol. Okay, basketball and soccer. Good. Maximo, what is your favorite? Boxing. Boxing. Hey, that's cool. Cynthia, what is your favorite? I don't have a favorite. You don't have a favorite sport. I don't like. I don't like them. <laughs> That's good. You are honest. <laughs> That's so awesome. Omar, what is your favorite? To swim. Swimming. That's awesome. Arvin, what is your favorite? I like soccer and boxing. Soccer and boxing. Hey, Maximo, you can be very good friends. <laughs> Esmeralda, what is your favorite? Roller skate. Roller skating, hey, fantastic. You know, I like pool or billiards. I, I love it. And it's like, hey, uy, que fea ese deporte que le gusta la teacher. <laughs> me gusta el billar, me gusta un montón. Yeah, pero aquí no hay un lugar donde diga, ah, voy a ir a jugar. Todos te miran así con cara de, ¿qué hace ella aquí? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I have a friend who has a, a, a table and we play there and it's it's awesome. I love it. And also yeah. I play I play on the phone. That's very nice. <laughs> I like it. Tell me, we talk about sports and that's good. What is your favorite ability? What is your favorite ability? Abilities are different activities that we are very good at. Okay? Don't tell me a sleeping because that's not an ability. That's a necessity. Don't tell me eating because that's a necessity. That's not an ability. <laughs> and uh, abilities are things, for example, that you can do very well. Dancing, singing, cooking, painting, decorating. I don't know. Uh, I don't know, speaking different languages. What is your best ability? My best ability is play the guitar. Play the guitar. Wow, very good. We're going to have a mini concert here. Okay, you can play the guitar. Who else? What is, who has another ability? For example, I can make I can make uh, bisutería. 
and I, I can I can make necklaces and I can make earrings, I can make bracelets and I can make all these things. I consider that an ability, right? And I can sing a little bit. <laughs> yeah, at least the shampoo never complains, but I can sing. What are your abilities? Tell me. Can you cook? Can you play an instrument? Can you do something specific? Huh? Tell me. Soy todo oídos. Think about it. Hasta que no le preguntan, no, no se pone a pensar, hey, what is my best ability? Huh? Let's go with uh, Arvin. What is your best ability? My best ability is uh, it's be a tall man. Uh, <laughs> I think so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but that, that's a blessing. That's not an ability. <laughs> how, how tall are you? How Uno tall? 82. Um, well, I am 178. So I am like kind of on your yeah. level. <laughs> Good. <laughs> so well, that's okay. That's a blessing. But what do you do with that ability? ¿Qué hace con esa habilidad que Dios le dio? Ser tan alto. Do you play basketball? Yeah, I play basketball. So that can be an ability. Good, very good. Mr. Okay. Maximo, what is your best ability? My best ability is ride a motorcycle. To ride motorcycles. Hey, that's fantastic because, I mean, I cannot do it. That's definitely an ability. Very good. Uh, Cynthia, what is your best ability? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Pintar, in, dibujar. In sports, I I think I don't have. No, but in, in your life, I mean, in, in general, can you sing? Maybe, can you dance? Maybe, maybe dance. Dance. I Very. love dance. Very good. I love dancing, you say. Good. Dancing. Esmeralda, what is your best ability? I don't have. Oh, my God. <laughs> No sé, maquillar, maquillar, peinar, colorear, I don't know, dibujar, bailar, mm. cocinar. Any ability that you that you have? Here I have a couple of examples, right? Here on this area, we, I have a couple of examples here, here on this picture. Uh huh. Uh, write? Right. Dibujar, no? Yes. Well, dibujar is draw, drawing. Ah, uh, draw, drawing. Drawing, very good. Rosario, what is your best ability? Sing. Sing, very good. Elizabeth. <laughs> but you sing, you sing. Elizabeth. Uh, my best ability is um, I have very, 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 very paciencia. No sé cómo se dice en inglés. I am very, very patient, you say. You are very patient. Okay. Patient. That is one ability that I don't have. I am not patient. I, 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 I. I think is um, cos, como se, how would how would you say coser su to su eh, eh, coser um, ropa ropa uh -huh. okay to su clothes I am going to send it in the chat su clothes I am going to send it in the chat su clothes there you go. It's on the chat. To sue. Or uh, sue in, in a very simple way, you say to fix clothes or to design clothes. Oh. Okay, you have the three options. Sue, fix, and design yeah. clothes. That's very awesome. No. I, I, I know design. I 
so close. You do. Very good job. So that's an ability. In some cases, we need to think, what are we good at? De que somos buenos. I can say, I have an ability. I can speak English, and that's an ability. And I learned it very well. Now you have that ability. You are developing the ability to speak another language. So here we have two different things, sports and abilities that are different situations. I'm going to make a little introduction because we're going to see this in the next class, but we are going to have the, the introduction to the topic. We have three different forms, play, go, and do, right? When you say play, go, and do, it's for different things. You cannot use play with ing forms. You cannot say, I play swimming. No, it's not possible. I play and you use a sport, okay? Usamos play con un deporte, con un instrumento musical, con un juego de mesa, right? <clears throat> I play football, I play basketball, I play cards, I play chess, I play computer games, okay? But you cannot say I play surfing because it's not possible. Go, you use it with ing forms. Activities with ing. The only one that you don't use with go is boxing. But because you say, I do boxing. I do boxing or I practice boxing, okay? So the difference between football and soccer. Soccer is the one that we play in El Salvador. And football is the American football, right? The one that you play with your hand, right? When you throw the ball and everything. I like it. I don't know you, but I like it. So that's the difference between football and the difference between soccer, right? Soccer is with the foot and football is with your hands and the body, right? And do, you use do with activities that do not use a ball and do not end with ing. I do athletics, I do gymnastics, I do judo, I do karate, I do kung fu, I do yoga, right? I do ballet, I do aerobics, Zumba, aqua gym. You do a puzzle, puzzle are rompecabezas, right? So those are the words that you use with do. With go, the ones with ing, and play with the different activities that you use a ball. Todos los juegos que ocupan pelota van con play. Eh, the board games and the musical instruments, okay? So that is the main difference between the three forms, play, go, and do. In these examples with play, we have play football, play basketball, play volleyball, play tennis, uh, play rugby, hockey, the guitar, poker, golf, cars, chess is ajedrez, okay? Be careful, don't say cheese. I play cheese, no, no juega con el queso. I play chess. <laughs> un, un, día, un día fui a un, a un restaurante de donuts salvadoreño y decía chess cake. Y le dije, deme un pedazo de pastel de ajedrez. <laughs> it's cheese. Cheese is the food and chess is the game. Dominoes eh, is not the pizza, right? It's the game. Computer games. Aquí se me fue el games para abajo, pero era computer games. Baseball. Play the violin and play the drums. The drums is eh, la batería. So those are the ones that you use with play. As you can see here, go. All of them have sailing, right? And I am missing one that it's one of my favorites. I don't know if you will practice it one day. Do you know what is the meaning of this one? Parachuting. Parachuting. Do you know Parachute. what is the meaning of that? Paracaídas. No. Yeah. Parachute. Be... Parachute. Parachutes. <laughs> Parachuting. Paracaidismo. Yes, it's a sport on which you will practice jumping on the air, right? Will you practice parachuting? Yeah, de aquí me va a venir a traer Picasso, por esos dibujos tan hermosos que era. <laughs> parachuting, will you practice parachuting or no? No, no teacher. 
I no. am, I know, I am very, very coward. I think I will never practice parachuting. Surfing? <clears throat> Mi respeto al mar. Yeah. Bungee jumping? No, okay. no, no. I will never practice bungee jumping. Uh, skiing? Es uh, para ir a esquiar en la nieve? I will say no. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe swimming. Yeah, swimming. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. Like a dog, but yes. I will practice it. Well, we are going to continue with this topic next week. So please, I need you to investigate different vocabulary about sports that we don't have here and also develop an ability because we are going to have a little presentation. Vayan buscando ahí su habilidad porque la próxima semana el día martes o el día lunes, ya voy a ver si el día lunes, vamos a hacer una presentación chiquitita de sus habilidades. Okay. Si me dice, I can dance, you are going to show the ability. If you tell me, I can play video games, you are going to show the ability there on one minute presentations, okay? So that is going to be next week. So think about your abilities. Think about the things that you can do very well. And I'm going to see you on Monday for the next class. Have a beautiful weekend. See you on Monday. Thank you, Chica. Buenas noches. Have Good a beautiful night. night. Good night. Bye-bye, my bye. dear students. Bye. Have a beautiful night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night.